Good evening. Good evening, TFFA and members. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening again. This is the Chief Admin Live. The Chief Admin Live, TFFA and good evening. Um, we want to especially thank God for today. Thank God for giving us the grace for tonight. Giving us the grace to go, to come on live today. We had a bit of uh, technical issues, but we quickly resolve it before um, before the commencement of the class. The chief admin life of the Fish Farm Association of Nigeria Facebook group. My name is Etel Bongokun. I'm a, I'm the chief admin of the Fish Farmers Association of Nigeria Facebook group. Good evening again and thank you for joining me today, tonight. Um, this is more like a free class every Sunday evening where we come to meet together. We come to discuss um, the way forward in the fish farming industry. We come to discuss the new things we see in the, we do in the fish farming industry. My name is Etebo Kohn again. I'm the chief admin of this group that you are watching this live video. This is not a pre-recorded video. If you are online, if you are just joining, I want you to signify. Just say something. You are welcome. Samuel Edugan, you are welcome. Who else is online? Let us have your, our, our attendance, our regular attendance. Uh, tonight is a special night. Tonight, um, to, to, tonight is a special night for me, a special night for the group. Meaning, as we draw close to the first anniversary of this group, Fish Farmers Association of Nigeria, the Fish Farmers Association of Nigeria Facebook group. There is bound to be transformation. There is bound to be difference. We want to make it so different from every other group. Thank you for joining. Tonight's topic. Tonight's topic is um, wrong fish feeding patterns. Wrong fish feeding patterns and their consequences. Yes, for every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. So, in, meaning that if you are if you are supposed to do something and you don't do it, it's an inaction, but itself is an action of not doing it. But there's a consequence for it. There's benefit and consequence of doing things, either right way or wrong way. Jose Rupert, you are welcome. Any other person online, let us know you. Please identify yourself. You can tell us where you are watching from. That would be very marvelous. Thank you for joining. Thank you all for coming tonight. It's been marvelous. One almost one year now of having this group online. Uh, this is this is a, this is a thing I this is a thing of joy for me. I wish to have these classes with you people every night, every Sunday, for now. And if time permits, we have it every night, every other night. We could we could do something marvelous with it. In fact, this is an online. This is an online class are uh, on online university for fish farmers since fish farmers may not have a regular school this will become a regular school for fish farmers Efosa Adun you are welcome Efosa Adun you are welcome Efosa Adun you are welcome um you, you are welcome Efosa Adun thank you for 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 joining us it's it's been it's been it's been marvelous last week we took a topic we took on the topic last week. Uh, what, was, what was the topic that we took on last week? Who, who can remind us? Last week topic. Any other person who can remind us what we took last week? Last week topic, please. Let us let us let us know the serious students in this class. Uh, in your da Oluwashim, Oluwashim, you are welcome. Florence Uba, oh my regular student, you are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. What is the topic last week? Let us do a little bit of revision. Since we call it a, a, a school, so I will call it a simple school. 
So let us do a, a bit of revision. What is what is um what wh what topic did we take last week? Just a bit of revision. Uh, can anybody remind us? Yes, I want a reminder from you, not from me, from you. What will be the, the, the okay Sylvester and Wokedi? You are welcome from from Imo State. You are welcome. You are welcome. Uh, what is the topic we took last week? Because this, this has become a weekly class for us, a weekly school for us. What's the topic last week? Who can remind us? Um, it is very simple. It's a very simple topic we took last week. And we, 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 we emphasized on a lot of points last week on it. Please, who can remind us? Uh, Florence, can you remind us, our regular students? Can you remind us, Florence? Who else was here last week? And please remind us, last week's topic is very important. I want to know your level of focus and your level of understanding. We discussed a lot last week. Yes. Anybody? Anybody? Last week's topic. I have told you to always come to class with your pen and your book. This is not just a, a live video for nothing. Last week's topic. This topic, today's topic is wrong fish feeding pattern and their consequences but last week we took on the topic while we are waiting for last week's topic can somebody just go back pick the link to this video and share it to other platforms share it to other fishermen's platform share it and use it to invite your friends tell them this is this going on live come and join let people join from wherever they are, they are joining from oh florence was not there last week uh, Paulinos, HGKMSA, Absentee Fishermen, wonderful, wonderful. Paulinos, HGKMSA, thank you for that reminder, beautiful reminder. Uh, Florence wasn't in class last week, I I wonder why, why didn't you watch the rev revision, why didn't you revise the video with you with yourself later. So Paulinos, it's, it's, our, it's our number one class tonight. So we have um, Absentee Fishermen, that is is what we discussed last week, absentee fishermen. You can be absent, but you can also be a fisherman. Absentee fishermen. It's very, very important that you go back and watch last week's video. Absentee fishermen. The things you do right in your absence. I told somebody uh, many times, I told people many times about leadership. I told them that if in your absence, things are not working on well, it simply means you have not been leading well. What is leadership? Leadership is replicating little, little leaders everywhere. So even as a fish farmer, you should be able to run your farm in your absence. You own and you run a farm in your absence. That topic was majorly dis um, targeted at the diaspora people, people in abroad, people not in their current location, people even within Nigeria or outside Nigeria, but they want a farm to be running on their behalf in Nigeria or in their hometown. Either in Cameroon, they are not in Cameroon, but they want to own a fish farm in Cameroon. That is why I took that topic. A lot of persons has come to me and said, a lot of things have been happening to my farm. What um, I, How do I do that? How do I do that? I'm not there. I would say, oh, you're not there, so how do you run it? I have to give them tips. Last week was focused on absentee fish farmers. Please look for the video and watch. It's very, very important. Tonight's topic is the wrong fish feeding pattern and their consequences. The run fish feeding pattern and their consequences. You will agree with me that feed is the major booster or major uh, ma major pro ma major booster and major factor for the growth of fish. Feed contribute to seventy percent growth of fish. Feed contribute to seventy percent growth of fish. The the other ones will be water and will be management and will be and will be um this kind of seed you you, you stock and so on that you kind of fingerlings or juveniles you stock but feed as long as it consumes 70 percent of your money that you use to stock the you, you use your expenses on the farm 70 percent of the expenses on, on the farm meaning that you also need to pay a critical attention to it you need to pay a critical attention to a factor that chop or that consume seventy percent of your expenditure on the farm, on the fish is very very important. If you don't do that, if you don't put that into consideration, you will find out that 
you are going to be at the losing side. Fish farming is very, very lucrative. But then, pay attention to what matter. You major in the, in the major and minor in the minor. You don't major in minor and minor in major. As we continue, before we dive into what are the wrong feed fishing pattern, uh, feed uh, fish uh, pattern, feed fish feeding patterns, I want you to go ahead, pick the link to this video, and send it across. Share this video across the board. Invite one or two persons to, to the group so that we can have a collaboration or a, 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 a conglomerate of fishermen dictating the pace of fish farming in Nigeria. You and I will come to an agreement whereby the most important things are being discussed and we find a way forward in the fishermen's industry. Now, let us continue. The wrong fish feeding pattern. The wrong fish feeding pattern. Now, if there are wrong feed fishing pattern, there must be right fish feeding pattern. What can have a wrong part should also have a right part. I can't call something wrong if there is nothing right. Something, you cannot say you have failed if you have not shown reasonable ex expense that you have not passed. So it simply means that there is a situation whereby you need to do your fish or feed your fish right. Feeding your fish right is the precursor to the growth of your fish. Let us take it to your to your to your uh, primarily um, consistency, your home. Yes, your home. In your home, if you don't eat right, your doctors will tell you that eat right. You eat, but you don't eat wrongly. You eat rightly. If you eat at a certain hour, you can see that you may not be able to sleep. If you don't eat well, you will find yourself that you will be having serious conversion, serious, um, serious, serious um, constipation before you sleep. If you don't eat well, some part of your body will become big, while some part will become small. If you don't eat well, you have a lot of consequences as a human being. So, so is fish. If you don't eat well, if you don't feed your fish well, it simply means that you are inviting your fish to what? To grow wrongly. There will be wrong growth, there will be wrong, there will be death, there will be a lot of consequences with it. So let us start from the first one. This topic I'm taking, I have discussed it one or two times with my cl the class that I took the other time, that is uh, the close WhatsApp class. I, I discussed with them, we talked at length about the right feed fishing pattern. See, you may have the right feed, but if you don't apply it well, you are going to have wrong results. Again, you may have the right feed. But if you don't apply the right feed well, you will have wrong results. So, taking that into cons uh, uh, consideration, what are the wrong feed fishing pattern? What are the wrong feed fish, uh, feed feeding pattern? Fish feeding pattern. Are you with a pen and your book? Are you with a pen and your book? Because we want to start at the express. I I I, I identified nine already, but we can go beyond nine. You can have even ten. You can have twenty. We can have 50, but I will discuss few with you, few mistakes that people make while feeding their fish. They will think, I have done it well now, I have fed my fish well, I have done this, but there are some silent things you didn't do. Silent things you didn't do. So it simply means that there are some things that you need to do as a farmer, how you, will going to, how you are going to feed your fish in a right way. But let us look at the wrong way. That will help you to collaborate and be able to have the right way of feeding your fish. Number one that we identify is spot and broadcast feeding. Spot and broadcast feeding. Spot, as the name implies, spot, like at a spot. If you are just joining, please say something. Tell us your name and tell us where you are join, joining from. Like I said before, the wrong feeding feed fishing pattern that we identify first is spot and raw and broadcast feeding people confuse these two when they need to apply spot and when to apply broadcast feeding both of them work actually very well i must be said with you both spot feeding and broadcast feeding work very well none is wrong and none is right your application make it right your application make it wrong how you apply them at the right time make it right or wrong. For instance, 
if you have a weapon, you have a machete, or you have a gun, I will tell you the truth that it is not as if it is bad to own those weapons, but your application of that weapon can make that, that thing become a weapon in your hand, or can make it become a defense for you. So understand this very well. Go and invite others so that we can continue. Number one, we said sport and broadcast feeding. What is sports feeding and what is broadcast feeding? Sport feeding is the, the situation whereby you feed your fish at one place. You feed your fish at one place, just at one place. Okay, Miss Jada, you are welcome from Nasarawa. Now, you feed your fish at one place, at one place. That is spot feeding. You stand at the spot and put the feed at just one spot. You keep putting all the feed in your hands into that very spot. That is spot feeding. Spot feeding, what are the advantage of spot feeding? Number one, when your fish are very hungry, they come to that spot to eat. Let me tell you something. Fish are, 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 are very sensitive. When they know that feed normally come from so-so junction or so-so streets in, the, in, the, in, in the pond, let me open your eyes to something. In the pond, fish has their own street, they have their house, they have their, their road, they have their junction, they have everything in the pond. You may not be in that water, but they are inside that water. They know their own way in the water. Just like birds have ways in the air. Fish has way in the water. Human beings has way on the land. So you can't just walk all the roads in, on the land. You have your own target, target road. So fish also have their own target road. Fish has their own road in it. So if you train your fish to start at a spot and always feed them, I bet you after a few days, they will acclimatize and adapt, knowing fully well that in this very junction, in this our um, area, feed normally land there. So whenever they are hungry, they will come to that cluster. I'll come and tell you that, oh God, we are hungry, will this fish food come? With this food come, the other them will be clustering around that area to show you that they are hungry. Mr. Lukman, thank you for joining from um, Quora State. Muftar, thank you for joining from Kano State. Let's continue. Uh, and Imam Bong, thank you for joining us. So let's continue. Spot feeding will tell you when your fish are hungry. It will also reveal to you when you are feeding them at that spot, all the fish gather in that spot. You will know when the fish have become very big. And when the fish become very small, you become you will know when some some one of the fish become shooter and, be, and begin to jump out. Okay, Mr. Timothy, thank you for joining us from Lagos. Now, you know when you are feeding your fish at a spot, you will understand that this feed that you, this feed you are giving them at a the spot, the fish that will cluster there, they will show you when one of them becomes too big to be in that pond. Yes. Your fish will now show you I am too big to be in this pond by coming to cluster in that same area along with the small fish. Number two, the when you give them cluster feeding, when um, spot feeding, number one, I said that number one, I said they will tell you when they are hungry by coming to that junction to come and look for food. Number two, they will tell you when they are hungry, when when some of them are becoming too big to be in that pond or to be among that mates. Number three, you will know when your fish are not actually eating. When they are not hungry, you will know. Because when they are hungry, they will, they will just rush down there to come and eat the food. But when they are not hungry, you will know. I hope I'm not too fast. I hope I'm not too fast. This topic is very elaborate, so I want to take my time to explain them. Number four, you will know when your fish are not actually hungry or they are sick. So it means that if all the feed come, fish up, come to cluster at the junction, if all the fish come to cluster at a junction. The ones that doesn't come, meaning that those ones, either they are sick, either they are blind, either they are runt, they will identify themselves as we are different class, so we don't want to join this group of people. Then you know that naturally, fish are supposed to be aggressive in their eating, naturally. Once they want to eat, they will rush themselves. If you ask that same cluster of fish, if you remove one feed, if you remove one fish from there and put it in another pond and say, let me, let me give that fish food, that fish may not eat. So naturally, fish like to struggle to eat. So if you do not see them coming there to come and rush to, to eat, 
if you are not, if you see them, they're not coming to come and cluster there to eat, then it simply means that there is something wrong with that fish. You tell yourself, like your baby in the house, if your baby doesn't want to eat, so there's something wrong with your baby, and that's how it works for fish also. That is, those are the advantage, those are the advantage of what? Of having spot feeding. The disadvantage are very few. Number one, when your fish are now are struggling to eat in that same spot, eh, some of them we we some of them we see food to eat. Why some of them will not see food to eat? Yes, because of their struggle. Some will be wider than some. Some will be stronger than some. So they will eat and they will not let the other ones to eat until that ration of food has finished for your hand. So you're not saying that ah, you think you are finished feeding them, but some of them actually did not see anything to eat. The weaker ones will not see anything to eat. That's number one. Number two, why they are struggling and why they are why they are fighting for food in that very junction. Some of them will get bruised. They will just injure themselves. They will bite the other one. They will eat the other one's head. They will remove matches and cut the other one. In fact, some some fish will remove gun and shoot the other one because of food. Yes, that's what fish do. Fish has gone in the water. I, I did not tell you. You see that it when they used to this of you to this of you to catch food, they catch the other one's tail and bite it off. It simply means they are fighting already. They want that one to leave that area so that they can be the only one that will eat that food. So it simply means it's a disadvantage for you to do, do spot feeding. But spot feeding is only advantageous in some few circumstances. Number one, number one, why the places where spot feeding is very good. Number one, where your fish are very small in size, like they are still fingerlings or they are still juveniles. Fine, it is still advisable that you can do spot feeding. Yes, it is still advisable that you can do spot feeding. You will know that even if with spot feeding also, with spot feeding, you will know when your fish, be fish become few. Yes, when somebody has stolen your fish, you will know. Because you see that the number of fish that come and gather here is not, it's not the number I used to have before now. This fish used to be plenty more than this. Oh, there's something wrong with this fish. Let me find out why this fish is this few. Then you now start investigating. Either by counting, by sorting, eventually you discover that, oh, my fish don't miss. Who, you now call your attendant. Who stole my fish? That's when you now start invest, early investigation. We make you understand that it is not your, maybe your, maybe some of them are swallowing each other. Maybe your attendants have, have played a fast one on you and so on and so forth. You will get to know. So sport feeding also have its own advantage. It is not totally bad. The only place it is bad is that the only time spot feeding is bad is that number one, when the fish are now grown very big, very, very big, you don't need to do spot feeding because that time, that time they, are, they have more power, they will do more damage to themselves. That's number one. Number two, when you have a large pond, not all the fish will come there. Number three, when you are in stock plenty of feed, when you stock plenty of fish in your water. You don't need to do spot feeding, broadcast the feed. Now that leads us to broadcast feeding. Broadcast feeding. Broadcast feeding. Broadcast feeding has worked well in some cases. What is broadcast feeding? That is spreading your feed across the pond. It's very important. Like I told, like I told some people the other day, there's a certain pond that some I saw a eating pond where somebody used to enter Keno to go and feed their fish. Meaning that in the same in the eating pond is as big as a football field. So it simply means you cannot start at the spot to feed your fish in eating pond, in that kind of eating pond. A pond that is as big as a football field, just one pond. You want to stand at the spot and feed that fish and feed those fish. It's a lie. It won't work. Not all of them will eat that food. So you need to broadcast your feed. You need to carry your feed and spread it across the, the pond. Stay at a different corner and pour the feed. Let all of them have the chance, equal chance, of eating that food. Yes, the, all of them will have equal chance of eating that feed. It's very, very important. If they don't have equal chance of feeding, eating that feed, how will they have equal chance of growing? I told you in the introduction that feed contributes to 60 to 70 percent of the growth of your fish. If you get this pattern wrong, if you get this pattern wrong, you are going to make a loss. You make a huge loss if you make, get this pattern wrong. So make sure you get your pattern right. Know when to apply spot feeding and when to apply broadcast feeding. Both of them have their own advantage. The other advantage of um, broadcast feeding is if all of them are equal chance of eating, 
Therefore, all of them we have equal chance of growing. All of them we have equal chance of growing. So don't just be alarmed. Don't say, oh, uh, what am I going to do now? All these fish, they, they don't want to, they don't want to grow. All of them we have equal chance of growing. So put it in mind that spot feeding may be advantageous. Brokers feeding have its own advantage. When you have a big pond, please do brokers feeding. When, when you have a big pond, please do brokers feeding. Miss Jada, you say you miss my your your Facebook your Facebook stopped. Okay, you can you can restart. You can start from beginning again later on. Just you didn't you miss will still be on, on, on Facebook. So so like I said, wrong feed fishing part feed fish feeding pattern. I said before that number one is sport and broadcast feeding. So you know when to apply sport feeding, you know when to apply broadcast feeding. All of them have their own means. Broadcast feeding is when you spread your feed all across the pond. You scatter your hands on, on the on the on the pond. You scatter all the feed all over the pond. Now it's always always good when you have big fish. When you have from 500 gram upward, or even before 500 gram, when your fish are, are big, do broadcast feeding. Number one. Number two, when your pond is big, do broadcast feeding. Yes, when your pond is big, do broadcast feeding. Do broadcast feeding. So, like I told you before, spot feeding, you will know when your fish is actually decreasing. But in broadcast feeding, you may not know when your fish is actually decreasing in number. Now, in spot feeding, you will know when your fish is due for sorting. Yes, you will know when your feed is, fish is due for sorting. When you feed them at a spot, you will know when your fish is due for sorting. What is sorting? Eh? You hear the word sorting. What is sorting? Sorting simply means separating your fish. Removing big ones or removing a certain size or a certain species from the other one. You say you sort. You can sort anything. You can you can sort you can sort even your oranges in the house. You can sort the big orange from the small orange. Yes, def, likewise fish sorting means removing big one from small one. Removing big ones from small one. Sorting is very very important in fish farming. If you don't do it, you may have challenge with it. So spot feeding will show you when to actually sort your fish we are finished number one sports and brokers feeding that when to apply them well it is very important when to apply them well so sport feeding and brokers feeding is the application the wrong application of sports and brokers feeding it's the wrong fish feeding pattern so put that in mind wrong fish, fish feeding pattern is the situation whereby you feed your fish in the wrong way, you feed, you underfeed your fish and so on and so forth. So, we have done with number one. We are going to number nine. So, if you have not invited somebody, go back, invite somebody, and let's continue. I'll be here waiting for you. I am your teacher tonight. I am a Tebongo Kun, and I remain your humble teacher tonight. If you told Muhammad, thank you for joining us on the Jebo Day. That will be in Ogu State. Thank you for joining us. So, number two. Number two wrong fish feeding pattern is, up you are with your pen, you are your with your book. I have said number one is what? Sports and broker's feeding. Number two is skipping meal, speaking meal time, skipping meal time, sp skipping meal time. Before you start your fish farming, you ask yourself, have you gone for the training on fish farming? Uh, oh, who said thank you for your journey from Warren. Now, have you gone for training on fish farming business? Have you gone for training on fish farming business to know the specific time to feed your fish? Koshe Binu, Bolaji, thank you for joining from Oshogbo. Lukman Oladoku, thank you for joining. Thank you for, for the thanks. Thank you. It's my pleasure teaching you tonight. Now, let's continue. Number two. Number one, I said the wrong application of sport and broker's feeding. Number two, I made mention that is skipping meal time. For everything, there is a time and there is a season. So says the Holy Book. There is a time for everything. There is a time to sleep. The time to, 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 there is a time to sleep. There is a time to wake up. Meaning that when you don't sleep at the right time, if you don't wake up at the right time, you are going to miss a lot in life. If you don't eat at the right time, there is time to eat. There is time to, 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 there is time to eat. There is time not to eat. So, fish also have their own time to eat, time not to eat. So, before you start your fish fish farming business, 
you need to go for adequate training to know very well that what time is best to feed my fish. What time is best to feed my fish? You feed them either you're feeding them three times a day, you're feeding them four times a day, or five times a day. Today is not the time to the day to discuss that. But if you skip your meal time, if you skip the meal time, it simply means you are disorganizing their system. If this fish, see, it takes about six to eight hours for feed naturally to dissolve or to digest in the tummy of a fish. In their stomach, it takes it takes six to eight hours to digest. Now, if you don't feed them at the right time, if you don't feed them at the right time, you will make you are making a huge mistake. If you skip meal time, maybe you are too busy. Yes, oh, I'm too busy. I didn't feed them in the morning. I was rushing out. I didn't feed them. I'll come and feed them. You know, feed them around eight o'clock. I always feeding them. You come and feed them at ten o'clock. Your fish may even reject the food, or they may be too hungry. And you know what will happen now? When fish become too hungry, they will gang up against one of them and use it to do fish pepper soup. Fish will gang up against one of them in the pond and kill that one and use it to do fish pepper soup for themselves. So stop skipping meal time. Feed them at the time you are supposed to feed them. So if you plan your time well, knowing that every 8 o'clock your fish will eat, make sure you feed them at that very time. Feeding fish at the right time is a precursor to avoid something that, that looks like cannibalism. Not cannibalism, but it looks like cannibalism. It's a situation where they gang up against themselves. Because they are hungry, they have to say who is the person that will sacrifice himself. Nobody is willing. All of them will just attack one of the one of the weak ones and use to do pepper soup for themselves. They will even cook rice inside the water for themselves. Meaning that you need to be careful to make sure that you don't skip your meal time. As you don't skip your drug time, I'm sure very well that if you are sick and you go to the hospital and they give you drug and they tell you that take this drug every seven seven hours. I'm sure you won't for, you won't forget to take your dog at that time. You want this is something that has your money in it. You are busy pouring money inside water every day, and you don't remember the time to feed your fish. It is an error. Make sure you always remember the time to feed your fish. If it's to set alarm for yourself, set alarm and say that two o'clock alarm will ring that you will go and feed your fish. Now, Muslims too don't forget when to have prayers. Yes, a lot of Muslims are so devoted to their time that sometimes some, some people even throw alarm to know that this alarm will, will remind me that I need to pray, do my prayer seven, uh, five times a day. Christians too have it in mind that in the morning they make sure they 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 they, they make sure that they, they make sure they they, they face their, their their time. They they, they 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 have their morning prayer. So meaning that. So, meaning that if you don't do the right thing at the right time, you are going to miss a lot. Make sure you don't skip fish meal. Don't skip their time. Give them at the exact time they give them. If you do spot feeding, that very time, if you used to feed them around 1 o'clock, that very time, they will come to that junction of your pond. It's just that they don't, they don't used to shout inside water. They would have start shouting your name and say, please come and give us food, oh. we are hungry, oh. we want to die, oh. come and give us food. Oh. They will shout your name. But since they cannot make noise, they only come and gather at that spot of the pond. And before you know, you may hear, you may hear some noise inside water. You just go and see them. That is, that is a reminder. That noise may not be too loud, but if you are sensitive enough, it is it already showing that you need to go and feed your fish at that time. Stop skipping meal for your fish. That is number two wrong feed fishing uh, fish feeding pattern. Number two wrong fish feeding pattern. Number one, I say wrong timing or wrong feed pattern of spot and broadcast feeding. That is number one. Number two, I said skipping meal time. Don't skip your meal. I hope you are following. I hope you, I hope you have invited somebody. I hope you are following and I hope you have invited somebody to join us tonight. Number three, I said, feed rationing. Feed rationing. You have your pen, you have your book. Please, this is very important. It's a school. This is a school already, a school of fish farmers, school for fish farmers. Since many of us may not have the opportunity to go to regular school,
school, in the university, or somewhere else. But let us look at it as an opportunity for us to learn tonight in this place. So, wrong fish feeding pattern number three is what? Feed rationing. Feed rationing. You ration your feed. You know what's called rationing? You ration it. You say, oh, hmm, hey, this food, this fish, they chop too much. They chop too much. I don't like this fish. They chop too much. They chop too much. You that you carry the fish and put them in water. Don't you know they will eat? Fish don't have any work they are doing. If they are working, you will send them to go and work, to come and help you do something. They don't have any work. You are the one that cage them in the place. When they are in then when when the fish are in the wild, maybe they are in the stream, the river, or the ocean, they will look for what to eat themselves. You are not the one that is responsible for them. But if you can catch a certain species and you put it into cage, in this time you bought the seedlings and you put them inside cage, you have the utmost responsibility to feed them to their satisfaction. Fish feed ra rationing, meaning that you look at the fish and say. Oh, this fish, they don't they chop too much. Oh, this fish, I don't like when they, they chop too much. They chop my money too much. I go, I, I find a way to, to ration it. Meaning that instead of giving them 5 kg in the morning, I'll give people 3 kg. I'll keep many 2 kg. You are rationing your food, your feed. It's very, very wrong. Stop rationing feed. Stop rationing feed. Again, stop rationing feed. It's a wrong fish feeding pattern. Stop rationing feed. Feed rationing. Feed rationing, it's a very wrong fish feeding pattern. Make sure you put it in your mind that you don't ration feed. Don't ration feed. Again, don't ration feed. Make sure you give them to their satisfaction. Stop rationing feed. Don't say this fish, they chop too much. Like I said, don't say this fish, now nah, they chop too much. I go, I know give them all the food. Oh, uh, and if you are an attendant, if you are, if you are working for somebody, this is for you. If you are working for somebody, this is for you. I have to tell you something. I have to warn you very well that you will lose the fish. You also lose your job if you ration feed. Meaning that if you are systematically stealing feed as a fish farm attendant, you are stealing feed. Your, your, your boss supply you 100 bags of feed. You decide to go and sell 20 bags to your neighbor that is doing fish, fish farming also and use 80 bags and you start cutting, cutting and say, no, let me put small, let me put small. It is very wrong. Stop rationing feed. Stop rationing feed. At this junction, I will call my phone number for you, my WhatsApp number. It's 080-69-78-6158. 080-69-78-6158. If you are watching from outside the country, the, the number is plus, you put plus 234 plus 234-8069-786158. This number I call for you is majorly for WhatsApp. Please, just send me a WhatsApp message. If you have challenge on your farm, we'll find a way to sort it together. If there's need for you to come for training, I will tell you. If there's no need for you to come for training, I will also tell you the answers and we all keep working together. Now, let's continue. Number three, wrong fish feeding pattern is fish rationing. Stop rationing your feed. Don't be, don't be a miser. Don't be stingy with feed. I'm not saying you should waste feed, but don't be stingy with it. Make sure you give it to them. This fish, you are the one. Now you carry them. Now you put them inside water. Wait to be your challenge now. If you want to make fish, go work. Go, we shall say the fish go do work to get your money to come feed himself. Why you don't allow and go work? Why you can't carry the fish? Put them inside water. They say, no worry, sit down there. I will feed you. Now you cannot feed, feed the fish. In some culture, in some culture, in, in Nigeria, some culture, it is the it is the husband who practically is responsible for all the feeding of the woman. You, you hear people think, like in olden days Calabar culture, they will carry they will catch the woman, put her inside fattening room, feed that plenty of food within a few months. The woman will come very bloated and big. So when they are giving you the woman to go and marry, you will feed you see the woman very fat you say ho oh, oh. ho because the woman has been fed excessively so you become very fat in that fattening room they call it fattening room she becomes they will be massaging her body so she can become fat now they will not tell you we are giving you this our wife this our daughter you can see how very fat and very fresh she is 
if anything happens to her, if she becomes thin, it simply means you don't have the capacity to, to keep our daughter, to marry our daughter. So what is going to happen to you as a man? To prove that you are a man in such society, to prove that you are a man... Someone say, can you hear the audio? Please, if you can't hear me again, let me know on time. Because I'm shouting here. To prove that you are a man in such society, to prove that you are a man, you need to feed your wife very, very, very well to prove that you are a man. I mentioned such society like Calabar culture. There are other culture whereby the wife, the wife is the one responsible for the husband. She needs to cook food and force the husband to eat. In some places, sometimes some guys will tell you, look at the uh, man and say, your belly no come out. You don't have pot belly. It simply means your wife is not trying. Sometimes they will see the man with pot belly and say, oh, your wife is trying for you. Oh, you have big tummy. Your wife is trying. Your wife is feeding you. Likewise, if I am your friend and I come to your farm and I see your, your fish looking lean, like Agbani Darego, like Agbani Darego, if you are seeing, if you are not hearing me, please let me know. Zito saying he is not hearing me. Let me hear somebody else who is not hearing me so I can fix my audio. I think I am, I am shouting at the top of my voice. Zito Emmanuel said he's not hearing me. Anybody else who cannot hear me? Can you hear me? If at least one person can hear me, it simply means we are proceeding. I'm asking again, can anybody hear me? I'm talking about rationing your feed. Oh, sounds of the part must say is hearing me loud and clear. So Zito, fix your, 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 fix your, um, Zito, okay, it's okay now. Something say is hearing me. So I continue. I said, feed rationing is very, very important. Don't ration your feed. Stop rationing your feed. Feed your fish very well. Like I said, some men, if they don't have pot belly, their, their, their friends will laugh them and say, your wife know they try. Your wife know they give you food. You need to have pot belly to show that your wife is a good cook or your wife is actually cooking for you. She's not stabbing you in the house. In some culture, like I said, in Calabar culture, the wife will be very fat and they will tell you if you don't feed your if you don't have money to feed our child don't come and marry our child eh? if you don't have money to feed our child don't come and um, worry our child my whatsapp line is 08 0696786158 that is my whatsapp line that whatsapp line is majorly for when you want to do business with me don't come and WhatsApp me and be telling me good morning. Have you eaten? I don't want people to ask me if I've eaten. I have somebody who is already giving me food. So, but make sure you are specific when you send me a message. Tell me what you want. If that thing will need you to consult me, I will let you know. If it's just what I will just answer you, I will let you know too. It's very simple. Let's continue. Number one, I've mentioned sports and broker's feeding. Number two, I've mentioned skipping meal time. Hope you are writing. It's very important you are writing. Number three, I mentioned feed rationing. It's very important too. Number four, number four, I said excess changing of feed brand. Yes, number four, this is my book. This is my book. I don't think I'm, not, I'm reading from book also. As a lecturer, I've written down. Can you see them? Can you see them? So if I am a lecturer, I am, write, I am writing, I want you to also write so that it's a class, it's a university, you are learning. You are learning something. You are learning one or two things. For, yeah. So it's, it's good you write it down. The wrong feed fishing, fish feeding pattern is very important. Fish feeding pattern. Just write it down. Wrong feed fishing uh, feeding pattern. Number one, I said broadcast and spot feeding. That is very important that you know where to do broadcast feeding and spot feeding. Number two, I said skipping meal time. Number three, I said feed rationing, which is the last one I just took. Number four, I, I'm saying that excess changing of fish feed brand there are different kind of feed brand in nigeria in fact the last time i checked they are close to the last time i did a, a statistics they are close to 100 and 105 fish, fish brand i identify now many other brands exist in some geographical location maybe within lagos alone some people are making their feed and selling within lagos some people are making their feed and selling outside lagos some people are making their feed and selling within Kano. There are different kind of feed brand in Nigeria. Different kind of feed brand. I have mentioned, I, I can mention over 100 fish, fish brand in Nigeria. Yes, fish feed brand is very, very important. Feed brand is very important. Stay online, I'm going to call my WhatsApp number again. 
Feed brand is very, very important. Feed brand is very important. Now, the brand of the feed is the company that makes the feed. The brand of the feed is the company that makes the feed. One company can make two or three brands. One company can make two or three brands. Permit me to say this, to take your excuse. I will, I'm not going to mention name of feed here. I'm not going to mention names of feed brand here. But you are a fish farmer or you are intending fish farmer. You should know different brands of feed. Some are foreign feed. Some are local feed. Some are personally pelletized feed. Some are personally pelletized feed. So feed brand varies. Foreign feed, local feed. Foreign feed is any feed that is made outside your country of residence. Foreign feed is a feed that is made outside your country of residence. Local feed is a feed that is made within your country of residence. Within your country of residence. They are called local feed. Now, personally formulated feed is another brand of feed entirely. You go and get the feed ingredients, mix them together and make your feed. These are brands of feed. These are different brands of feed. Now, I want to caution you. Stop mixing and changing them. It's very wrong. Why is it wrong? This brand of feed have their different ingredients. The way Mr. A made a feed will be different from the way Mr. B made his feed. Oh, you know what I mean? The way Mr. A made, has made his own feed, has compounded his feed, is different from the way Mr. B has compounded his feed. So it simply means it takes technicality to know the way each brand formulates their own feed. Now, it is very important that you don't just start skipping from brand to brand. Now, science of fish farming has shown that if you change a brand of feed, if you change from feed A to feed B, it will take some time before your fish acclimatize to that feed. What I'm saying so is this. Listen, take you for instance, you as an, as an instance. There are many soda in the country. There are many different of sodas in the country. I can mention the brands of soda. There's Coke, there's Fanta, there's Pepsi, there's different kind of things. Now, take it for instance. You are you you are you are fortunate to be in a party and they give you a certain so brand of soda. Maybe they give you Coke and you drink the first Coke and you are satisfied, very very satisfied. And they decide to give you. You say okay, uh, I'm hungry again. Give me another soda. And they, this of giving Coke again, they bring Fanta. You will be skeptical in taking that Fanta. You will say, oh, I've taken Coke before. Give me Coke again. Let's let's keep that aside. Okay, there's rice. Okay, you're eating rice before, Abby. You were eating fried rice. And you add fried rice to the extent. Where does fried rice finish? Fried rice now finish. Then I, then I say, oh, you still want to eat, but there's no more fried rice. Then I say, okay, there's no fried rice. Let's give you jollof rice. You will feel some out to eat jollof rice on top of fried rice. Even though it's almost an instant. You will feel some out to, to make sure to mix. To, after eating fried rice, you not carry food. Even though it may not be poisonous, but you feel some out in your mind and say, but I've eaten fried rice now. At this point, you will tell them, okay, don't worry, there's no fried rice, don't worry, I will just go. I will go and leave a fried rice somewhere else. Because you just finished eating fried rice, you want to eat another fried rice on it. That fried rice you eat was not enough for you. So you want to eat another fried rice on it to just complete that set of meal. But then I'll give you jollof rice or give you white rice, white and stew. They are all rice, but different style of cooking the rice. There is still coconut rice. You were eating jollof rice. And jollof rice was not enough. They say, oh, God, that jollof rice don't finish you. If you, know, if you want extra, let's give you coconut rice. Will you eat? You will not eat now. You say, okay, well, jollof rice has finished. I want to give you coconut rice. I don't, I don't want to eat coconut rice. Please go and look. So let me just go. Let me go and manage. Let me go and drink water. You will feel somehow to eat jollof rice on, on top of the coconut rice you have eaten. So I'm taking this as an illustration. It's just illustration. Now. now come back to your fish. Come back to your fish. In your fish, if you are given a feed A for a period of time and you switch to feed B for one day or two days, for one day or two days, your fish may lose small weight. They may lose small weight. Yes, they may lose small weight. If 
if it, if you want to experiment on it, this is what you do. Feed your fish a certain brand of feed. Feed them a certain brand of feed. Maybe feed A. You keep feeding your fish, feeding your fish, feeding your fish, feed A. Now, you check the weight after one, after like one month. You check the weight. You have seen the weight. Now, you now switch to feed B. Immediately, you buy feed B and start feeding them. After three days, check the weight again. After you feed, check the weight three days ago. Check the weight three days after changing your brand of feed. You will find out that your feed must have lost small weight because they are trying to acclimatize to the new feed. They are trying to digest the new feed. The brand of feed is a, li a little bit different. The brand of feed is a bit different because the way Mr. A has formulated his feed, the way company A has formulated his feed is different from the way company B has formulated his feed. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So, meaning that you have to be cautious of the brand of feed you give your fish. If you, got, if you have always used to a certain brand, I'm not saying a certain feed is bad. I'm not saying a certain feed is good. What I'm saying is that stop switching too excessively. Stop switching your feed too excessively, too much. Don't, don't excessively switch feed. Don't say, okay, okay, give me any feed, give me any feed. As long as it's six seven, give me any feed, give me any feed. No, 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 it's very wrong. Stick to a brand until maybe harvest. If you can't, maybe switch once. Yes, if you can't, switch once. If you can't stick to one brand, switch once or IS twice. Switch once or IS twice. Meaning that if you are a serious fish farmer and you want to feed your fish, you need to go and buy almost all the feed you need at a time, if you can afford it. If not, you can buy two different brands and, and do it. Now, what you the, the the audio is pouring inside. I am shouting here. Yeah, I am shouting. I am shouting. Can you hear me now, Rotimi? Rotimi, can you hear me? Paul, Rotimi, can you hear me? I am shouting. Is anybody, any other person can you hear me? Because I'm trying to make sure that the audio quality is very good, so you can hear me well. You can see my illustration, but make sure that the brand A is dif formulated differently from brand B. Now, let me tell you why. Sometimes, some, some certain company, let's take fish meal, uh, protein content, for, 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 for example. Sometimes, certain feed company use more of blood meal than fish meal. Yes, they use more of blood meal than fish meal because maybe blood meal is, more cheap, is cheaper and more accessible to them. So, they use blood meal than fish meal. So, it's a different quantity entirely. So, when you now put a feed that is always on fish meal, fishy, fish meal, you now switch to a fish that is always on blood meal, blood meal, you are going to have problem. Okay, Lukman says loud and clear in this place. So, I wonder why others... Okay, please fix your... Um, fix your... After this, there's a note for this. Yes. After this class, there's a note. Asking for the note. I will give you the note. I have written the note down for this. So it simply means I am now getting very serious as a, as a lecturer. So meaning there's a note for this very one. I will give you the note. After this, I will write a note for you. After this, I will write a note. I will give you the note. So make sure you put it in mind that you should remind me of the note after this. I will drop the note for you. It can be in form of a link, but I will I drop the note for you too at, in front of it on TRFA and I will drop the note for you. Let's continue. So, I have mentioned sports and sport and broker's feeding. I've mentioned skip, um, skipping meal time. I've mentioned feed rationing. I've mentioned excess changing of feed brand. Don't change your brand anyhow. I have made, I've made illustration of somebody who is eating rice and eating maybe jollof rice and decided not to, it's not enough. He decided to eat, um, or, uh, um, it is, he decided to eat more jollof rice. And they said jollof rice don't finish, you, okay? Jollof rice, no, the shame could give you coconut rice. You may likely not eat the feed, the, the food. Meaning that if you change your brand of feed excessively, I have said, I am not going to mention a brand of feed here. I'm not saying one brand of feed is bad, another brand of feed is right. I'm not saying so. What I'm saying is that stop changing 
your brand of feed. Don't just carry brand A. My WhatsApp number once again is 080-69-786158. WhatsApp number is 080-69-786158. Save it down. You will need to ask me one or two questions later. We need to do business later. Let's continue. I have said, when you change your brand of feed excessively, number one, your fish may lose weight at the beginning. And when your fish lose weight, they will need to eat more, eat more, eat more to be able to recover their weight. Now, sometimes, some certain brand of feed that is your water more than the other. Some certain brand of feed that is your water more than the other. So have it in mind that when you switch your brand, when you switch your brand of feed up and down like that, it's very dangerous. Yes, it's very dangerous. Stop mixing, stop, stop mixing your brand of feed up and down. Make sure you focus. Focus on one brand of feed. Or the the else I can tell you, I advise you is that change your feed just twice before harvest. Change it once. Ah yes, twice before harvest. If you need to change. If you don't change, stick to a company till you finish. Now, this is what happened. When you stick to a certain company till you finish. Now, maybe this very set of fish, you stick to company A, you feed your fish. Farmers are scientists. Now, let's continue. You've stocked 5,000 fish. You stick to company A and you, you feed them that company A brand of feed from the beginning to the end. From the beginning to the end, you, you feed all your brands of feed or just one band of feet to a certain fish from beginning to the end. You stock 5,000, you are able to harvest 3,000 kg. When you are doing another one, when you are now stocking like another 5,000, you switch the company. This is a new set of fish now. You now switch the company. You start, you, sw you switch to company B, you do, you feed them only com company B brand of feed. Remember company A, 5,000 fish give you 3,000 kg. Company B may give you 3,200 kg. Yes. You switch to company C in the next one. It may give you 3,500 kg. As a fish farmer by yourself, in your own mind, in your own church mind, or your monk's mind, tell me the truth. Which company will you continue to, to, to do? Is it not company C? You will not stick to company C. Why will you stick to company C? Because it has given you the result that you want. The result of a fish of feeding your fish is weight. But when you keep switching company A, company B, company C, company D, company E, company F, C, company Z, after switching and switching and switching and switching and switching and switching, what happened to you? You didn't know. You don't know the feed. Feed actually give you the weight. You don't know the fish. The feed that actually give you the weight that you you have. So you don't know the fish feed that actually that is actually destroying your your weight. Stick to one. At the end of the day, switch to another brand in another set of fish. Switch to one. Another one. Switch to one. By the time you do three harvest with three different companies, in your church mind you will know. Oh, I think company A is very good. I'll be using the company A or company B. Maybe company C is the one that give you three thousand five hundred kg. You just stick to it. So instead of coming online to come and ask your fellow farmers and say that, oh, which feed is the best feed? You don't need to ask. I don't ask the best feed. You know why? Because I know the feed I use at a certain spot. I know when I stock my fish in Etting Pond, the brand of feed I use. When I stock them in Tapolin Pond, I know the brand of feed I use. When I stock them in Concrete Pond, I know the brand of feed I use. I don't ask that question. Because I've experimented. I have already gotten the, the, the desired results. The reason why I don't want to make sure names of feed, feed brand is very simple. I used my money to go and buy this brand. I used my money to make the finger, the juveniles. I used my money to do this experiment. I used my money to get the answer. Now, this, this company did not pay me for this. I, I used, I risked my money to do it. Even though I, some of them didn't get their results, the result I, I, I want. Some of them was a loss, but it was the result I got. So I carried the result, I put it in my pocket. I put it in my pocket like this. I walk around. So anytime I want to buy, buy feed, I go to the feed shop and say, give me so-so feed. And the man will say, 
this feed is not around us. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Let me, let me go to another shop. They say, no, there's another feed. There's one that is like that. I say, no, I want this very particular one. The feed man or the feed seller doesn't know why I want that very brand of feed at that very time. It is me that know because I have experimented on them and I carry my results. I put it in my pocket. So if a feed company now starts shouting, my our feed is the best. I know the feed that is the best for me in my own farm. So every farmer have the tendency of knowing the best feed in their own farm. I can tell you what the feed you will use in tarpaulin pond or the one you use in earthen pond or the one you use in concrete pond that is the best for you. Let's proceed. Let us leave that aside. So excessively changing your feed brand with what we call is a wrong feed feeding pattern. Number five, mixing different sizes of feed. I have taken this topic some times ago. Last year, I, 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 died, I talked about mixing different sizes of feed. Because in your pond, there are different sizes of fish. Oh, as a fish farmer, as a fi as in your fish farming business, you don't have the effrontery, you don't have the excuse, no excuse for you to have different sizes of fish in one pond. As a fish farmer, as you have gone in your fish farming business, you don't have excuse to what? To have different sizes of fish in a pond. Don't do it. It is wrong. Don't have different sizes of feed in your fish in your pond. In your fish farming business, put it in mind. Put it in mind. No different sizes of fish in one pond. You are a lazy farmer if you don't if you have different sizes of feed in fish in one pond. The only excuse you will have. The only time I will excuse you, the only time I will excuse you is you are not actually doing fish farming business. I, I'm telling you that this is fish farming business university. This class is fish farming business university. So if you are doing fish farming as a hobby, if you are doing fish farming as something, as a, as a leisure time, if you are doing fish farming as a pastime, if you are doing fish farming as, as while in a way of time, I can excuse you and say, okay, you can have different sizes. After all, you will go and you one day you will look at, oh, see that big fish, see that big fish. You've been point and kill inside your own house. See that big fish. Uh, you are pointing it. You want to catch it and go and eat it. I can excuse you. God, yeah, some will become big, some will still be small. So start removing the big, big ones and go and use it to enjoy yourself. That is if you are doing fish farming business as hobby or as leisure. But if you are doing it as a business, you don't have excuse to have different size of fish in your pond, in one pond. You can have different size of feed, fish in different ponds, but not in one pond. Like you have one pond, you have big fish, 500 grams, you have 100 grams in that same pond. It's a lie. You don't have excuse for that. So sort your, your fish. Sorting is very important. Don't be lazy. Sort your, your fish. After sorting, give them the right size of uh, feed. Give them the right size of feed. Don't don't say, okay, in this pond, there's 1 kg and there's 500 gram. Give me 9 mm. Give me 6 mm. You mix it together and you pour it in your pond. What happened? The fish in your pond that has big amount, that 1 kg fish, they will go and swallow all the feed. They will swallow the 6 mm. They will swallow the 9 mm. They are small junior brothers that are smaller in the pond. They will not see fish to eat. You will say, uh uh. Will you, will, are you not telling me? Are you not telling me that when you pour the feed inside water, you will tell the big fish, hey, big boys, eat the big, big fish, the feed. Small boys, eat the small, small feed. Big boys, I want you to eat only big, big feed, though. Small boys, I want you to eat small, small feed. Does it happen? Can you do that to your fish? It is not possible. You can't do that. They will not go outside. They will not obey you. They won't obey you. What I'm saying this is because I want you to understand the fact that you don't mix different sizes of feed for your one pond. Don't mix 6 mm and 4 mm, 2 mm and 9 mm, and say the small fish will eat the small feed, the big fish will eat the big feed. It's a lie. You see that big feed, that big fish, it will eat all the feed. And sometimes the small feed will be trying to eat even big feed, the big, the 9 mm. The one you are pitting and say, oh, this feed. Yeah, this fish eats the small, small feed now. It's a lie. That small fish, maybe it's the big feed, that is the big pellet size of feed that it sees. You will rush it and start eating that. So, put it in mind. Don't, have, don't mix different sizes of feed. It's a wrong fish feeding pattern. Why did I say so? The big fish will not eat the big pellet of feed. 
the big fish will not just eat the big pellet of it. Let me call my phone number for people who are still watching us. 080-69-78-6158. 080-69-78-6158. Make sure you send me a WhatsApp message, please. Just WhatsApp message or Telegram message. It's on Telegram also. WhatsApp, Telegram. Or send me a message in my inbox. It's very important. Ask me questions. If there's need for us to have a business conversation, we're going to talk about it. If there's no, business, if there's no need for that, we we'll talk about it. Let's continue. Why I'm saying this is because the small feed will not the small fish will not eat just small feed. The big fish will not eat big feed. It is not possible. They don't obey you. They're even human beings will disobey you. Even human beings will disobey you. Your baby in the house, when you have two spoons on the table, I'm betting you that your small child of two years old or three years old will carry the big spoon to go and eat and leave the small spoon for you. It's very important. Your small child in the house, when you have two or three feet, two or three spoon in the table, experiment it. Your your small baby, three years old, five, even five years old, will go and carry the big spoon, the big tablespoon, and leave the small teaspoon for you as an adult. They will prefer to eat with a big spoon. Not the of fish in the pond. The fish in the pond, they don't know which one which feed is which one, as long as they feed, they will rush to eat the feed. What I'm saying this is very important. That if you are already doing it, stop doing it. Don't mix different pellet size of feed for your fish. Stop mixing different pellet size of feed for your fish. It is a wrong fish feeding pattern. Either the big fish will eat all the feed, or the small fish will be struggling. The more fish will be struggling to eat the big, big size of feed. So why, why are you mixing it? Why don't you just sort your, your pond, sort your fish, and give the small fish the small pellets, and give the big fish the big pellets? Simple. Now, some of them may be of the same age. Yes, some of them may be of the pond, maybe. You may stock them at the same time as juvenile. But as the grace of God is upon them, some fish will become bigger than some fish. So sort them out and give them big pellets. It doesn't mean that the small fish will not catch up. They will catch up later. Give them the small pellets. Don't mix that. I hope you are writing. I've, I've mentioned, I've mentioned number one, I've mentioned number two, number three, number four, number five. This is number six. Undersized or oversized feed pellets. Undersized or oversized feed pellets. You know what's called feed pellets? That's that feed. That's small, small feed. As you pack the feed, the pellets. That what what that feed is called pellets. Yes, feed pellets. Undersized or oversized feed pellets. Undersized or oversized feed pellets. Why why I'm making emphasis on this is very simple. Now, this your fish, this your fish, they have their mouth. They have their mouth. Now, the right size of pellets for your fish is the size of feed, feed pellets that is the size that is smaller than the size of their eyes. Hey, hope you get that. Do you get that now? To know the right size of pellets for your feet, give them the, the size that is as smaller than their eyes. You see their eyes? Fish has eyes. Look at the fish eyes and look at the pellet that is, that's, that is smaller than that size. Give it to them. That is the right size of pellet for them. It's a rule of, rule of thumb. They call it rule of thumb. A rule of thumb is very easy. Some people will say, my fish is 10, 10 months old. Sometimes your fish are 10 months old and they should be eating 4 mm, not even 9 mm. Because they are small to eat 4 mm. Have you written that down? Some fish may be 6 months old and they should be eating 9 mm. So, there is no standardization in terms of fish. Meaning that, meaning, meaning that okay, my number again, my number again is 08069. Seven eight six one five eight zero eight zero six nine seven eight six one five eight. It's a WhatsApp line. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. We are going to discuss a lot of things on, on business. Now let's continue. I'm a businessman. Even though I'm a lecturer, I'm also a businessman. My business is making sure that the fish farm industry is very good. Making sure that you have the right uh, fingerlings. I can give you like right juveniles. I can give you tapolin pond. I can give you the. I can set up a farm for you. No matter the size of the farm, I can. I have, I have a promo coming up next month. The promo is 
fish package. You just pick, give a size, certain size of of, uh, of 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 money, and we are going to use it to to give you a certain setup of farm. I'm going to discuss that later. Now, someone said, can you describe the pellet in different ways? The pellet of feed are very simple. Start as a fish farming business. As a fish farmer, you start with two mm. There are some that are smaller than two mm. If you are if you are feeding fingerlings, you feed them with one mm or 0 0.8 to 1.2. If they are juvenile, if they are post fingerlings, they need to eat 1.5 mm. If they are juveniles, are you writing down fingerlings? Fingerlings we eat 0 0.8 to 1.2 or 1 mm. Post fingerlings. We eat 1.5 mm. Juveniles, we eat 2 mm. Jumbo should be eating 3 mm. After, after 3 mm, we have 4 mm, we have 6 mm, we have 9 mm. Some feed companies do 4.5, some do 8 mm. But the 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 most the most the most the, the most broaded one is 1.5 mm. 1 mm or 1 point or 0 0.2 mm. 1 0 mm to 1.2 mm. 1 mm. Um, 2 um, 1.5 mm. 2 mm or 1.8 mm. So people do 1.8 mm. 3 mm, 4 mm, 6 mm, 9 mm. Now, the the target size of feed for your fish is the one that is smaller than their eyeball. Look at the eyeball of your fish. Look at it, oh, eyeball to eyeball. Look at the fish side and say, look at your eye. If your fish has big eye, like my eye, my eye is very big, Abby. If your fish has big eye, like my eye, it simply means it will have big mouth. If it has small eye, like your eye, it will have small mouth. So make sure you use that to go to market to buy the right size of feed. To buy the right size of feed for them. Right pellet size of feed for them. If your fish are up to like, Two months old, I'm expecting them to should be eating four mm. If they are three months old, they should be still be eating four mm. But once they are entering four four months old, they should be eating six mm into nine mm by five months old. That's what I expect. Naturally, that's what I expect. But when you sort your fish, some of them will still be smaller. So get them their own size. Give them their own size. So if you if you give them big size or you give them small size, you are over over oversized or undersized. Now there is another rule of thumb. Meaning that a fish, a typical fish in your pond needs to eat, a typical fish in your pond needs to swallow 5 to 20 pellets, 5 being minimum, 20 being maximum, pellets, 5 being minimum, 20 being maximum to get satisfied before in Belefu, before in Belefu. Uh, wait, so you are going to ask questions later. You are going to ask questions later. Before in Belefu, eh? In in need to chop that fish. Need to chop five. Need to swallow pellet size. Five being the smallest, twenty being the biggest. Put that in mind. So if your fish decide to eat and eat and eat, swallow fifty pellets and is still looking for fish to eat, something is wrong somewhere. Either the pellet is undersized, is too small. Yeah, that pellet is, is too small. Or that fish, you don't starve them too long. Now, if your fish, after swallowing two, one, two, and you don't, you don't say you don't believe, you run away, simply means they are eating oversized. So, make sure you put that. Make sure you put that. Please wait, I'm going to give you my numbers later. I'm going to give you, give you time for question later. So, I've given you six different reasons why you are feeding your fish in the wrong way number one i said sports or brokers feeding wrongly number two skipping feed meal time number three i have my book i'm reading from book i got this thing down so i am not afraid of reading from my book i'm done i got this notes can you see the notes yes can you see the notes i got this note myself so don't be afraid I'm, I'm, i got this notes can you see it if you have your book make sure you also write it's very important you know, it's why you not forget. Number one, I said, number one, I said, um, spot or broadcast feeding. Number two, I said, skip meal. There's, there's a lesson note after this. There's a lesson note. It's a note I already prepared for you, so I'm going to give you to, the, to you after this. 
then skip skip meal time number three feed rationing number four excessive changing of feed brand number five mixing different size of feed number six i'm reading from a note yes number six on the size of a fried feed pellet number seven feeding fish in dirty water feeding fish in dirty water feeding fish in dirty water is very important feeding fish in dirty water feeding fish in dirty water feeding fish in dirty water feeding fish is in dirty water is a wrong fish feeding pattern it's a wrong fish feeding pattern stop feeding your fish inside dirty water what will happen is that your fish will reject the food number two it will pollute the water too excessively too much then when water there is water pollution there is down to the disease outbreak if there is no disease outbreak your your fish may even cannibalize inside that dirty water so have it in mind have it in mind that you don't feed your fish in dirty when your water is dirty change your feed change your change your water and feed them afresh when do you change your water number one you change your water six hours after feeding them or you change your water you first change your water and wait for like one hour before you feed them or two hours before you feed them don't just feed them now 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 and change the water now, now, now. it's a wrong pattern don't just feed fish now as now, now you just feed fish you now, 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 now. You're, you're already changing water it's wrong they will vomit you will stress them they will vomit the feed it's a waste it become a waste so stop changing stop uh, feeding fish in dirty water don't feed fish in dirty water it's very important you have put that in mind it's very important don't feed fish in dirty water don't feed fish in dirty water don't feed fish in dirty water that's number seven number eight bad feed yes feed can be bad expiration of after production of many feed i've seen that production of many feed after production the feed has between three to six months for you to use you use the feed within three to six months. You use the feed within three to six months. You use the feed within three to six months. You use the feed within three to six months. You use the feed between three to six months. You use the feed between three to six months. Yes, you use the feed within three to six months. I'm saying within, within three to six months of date from date of production. If you exceed the six months, the feed has started having command. If you now get to one year, the food has totally expired. Expire feed, or you put you don't store your feed very well. If you don't store your feed very well, your feed will expire. You start going muko, start going mold. So don't feed your fish bad feed. Check the protein content of your feed before you also feed that fish. Stop feeding your fish bad feed. Feed your fish need good feed to be alive. Your bad feed may poison the, the, the pond, may poison your fish. So stop feeding your fish bad feed. If you give them expired feed, if you give them bad feed that has grown mold, if you give them feed that is substandard, is they are all bad feed. Stop giving your feed bad fish. I hope you're writing down. You're writing down, right? Okay. I'm going to ask questions very soon. Number nine, any owl feed. Oh, any owl feed. Any owl feed. Any owl feed. This lecture is sponsored by Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. Prodev Integrated Farms and Services is one that is sponsoring this lecture, providing us with lights, providing us with phone, providing us with data. That's what Prodev does. Prodev is providing this lecture free of charge. Prodev provides this lecture every Sunday, free of charge. So, Make sure you patronize Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. What the Prodev Integrated Farms and Services does, we supply feed, we supply fish, we supply fingerlings, we supply um, um, dry fish, we do tapolin pond, we set up farms, we do everything concerning fish farming and other agro -allied. Our head office is in Aquaibom 658 Orang Road, Uyo, or you contact us on WhatsApp easily 080-69-78-61. Five eight zero eight zero six nine seven eight six one five eight. That's our WhatsApp number. Make sure you contact on WhatsApp. Now let's continue. This lecture is brought to you live 
by product integrated farms and services. Now the next last one is any owl feed. Any owl feed. Some people don't say that, oh, anything, anything you give fish, they will chop. Yes, yeah, they will chop. But with that grow, you give your picking any owl food. You go grow. Any owl feed, any owl, just any owl, any owl, any owl, anything goes. No, 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 no. You don't do fish farming business that way. Business is very specific. Business is very, very specific. Business is very, very specific. So what I'm saying is that, okay, Prodev has given us light also. Prodev Integrated Services, thank you. Prodev Integrated Farms and Services, thank you. You are supplying us light. So let's continue. Any owl feed, any owl feed, it simply means you just wake up in the morning and say, I feel like giving my feed gari and soup. You carry gari and soup, mix it together, give it to your fish. They will eat, oh. Because maybe they are hungry, they will rush it, but will they convert it to feed? Will they convert it to feed? Will they convert it to feed? There will be time for questions. I'm going to ask your questions later. Just keep your questions. I'm going to ask them later. Will they convert it to feed? You just decide to send in different kind of things into your pond. They will eat it. They will eat it. They will eat it. But will they convert it to feed? Will they convert it to feed is the question any outfit any outfit and they will eat stop giving your feet your fish any our food don't just work just look at oh your 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 visitor did not finish the food you carry the food you take it to them and pour it inside your, your maybe rice cooked rice cooked beans cooked noodles uh, biscuits bone meat um gari rice two watch in kaffa amala semo uh, what else? Any other food? Anything you just eat, just get and pour in the pond. You pluck papa, hmm. you pluck gopher, hmm. you carry um, orange, hmm. you ca anything you pour inside your food, inside your farm, inside your pond. The fish will eat the food, they will struggle to eat it because maybe they are hungry, they will eat it. But will they convert it to what will make them to grow? That is the question. Will they convert it? Stop giving your fish any out feed. You are the one who went to go and buy this fish. You are the one who said, fish, I will take care of you. You bought them with your hard-end money. You took them and put them in the pond with your hard-end money. You give them water, you give them pond, you give them water. You now tell yourself, fish, Una, you are very stupid. Chop this gary today. Chop beans tomorrow. Stop giving your fish any of, if you don't have money to, if you don't have money to, to feed your fish, don't put your fish inside water. Don't put your feet inside water. Again, this lecture is brought to you by Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. Our WhatsApp number is 080-6978-6158. 080-6978-6158. Prodev Integrated Services, it's a farms and services. It's a company that deals with fingerless production, and arching, give, um, um, juvenile supply, table size supply, Fish farmers connection, dry fish, well, tapolin pond, mobile pond, anything, any kind of. If you want to set up your farm, contact Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. Consultancy also, that's what we do. They are the one who brought this lecture to you free of charge. They gave us phone, they gave us data, they also gave us lights. So make sure you thank Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. Search it on Facebook and say thank you, Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. It's very important. Now, what are the consequences of bad feed fishing feeding pattern? What are the consequences? For every action, there is always equal and uh, equal and opposite reaction. What are the consequences? My name is Etebo Ngokon. I am the chief admin of Tif F F A N, the Fish Farmers Association of Nigeria Facebook group. I am the fish ad feed, uh, chief admin, and I'm bringing this lecture to you free of charge. Cut C and sponsored by Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. They have their WhatsApp number to be 080 6978 Now, what are the consequences of feeding your fish in a wrong way? What are the consequences of feeding your fish in a wrong way? Number one, overgrown fish. Like I said in spot feeding, when you feed your fish at a spot too long, some fish will become too overgrown because they have more power to eat food more than the other one. They become overgrown. They become too big for that pond. So you have to now start sorting them. 
it's a consequence. You want you will you will like your fish to grow at a sit at a at a at a pace. All of them have been the same size almost. But by the time you start feeding them at a spot, one fish will get power past the other fish. In go come the chop food pat pat pass them. As they chop food past the other fish, what you go up, you go become big, they become overgrown. Yes, you want a fish to grow fast, but not overgrown. You want your fish to grow fast. You want a fish to grow fast. It simply means that you want, if it's stock 5,000, you want 4,999 fish to grow very fast and very big. But if it's stock 5,000 and 100 has grown very big, while the other one is still small, you will get discouraged and say, ah, why is this fish growing this way? Because you are doing spot feeding, you are feeding them wrongly. It's a consequence of wrong fish feeding pattern. Number two, cannibalism. I have mentioned that before. If your fish get hungry, if you don't feed them at the time you need to feed them, then they cannibalize. What the cannibalism? Cannibalism simply means that a certain number of fish come together. They put their hands together. They collate. They have a meeting and say, our organ never give us food. What are we going to do? Ah, what, what, what we are going to do is that we are going to catch one of us. Eh? You catch one of them and decide to kill that one and use it to do pepper soup for themselves inside the pond. They, they have stove, they have rice. They will just do pepper soup. They use one of them to do pepper soup. That is cannibalism. They eat fresh fish inside the pond for themselves. That is cannibalism. So cannibalism is when one fish catch the other fish or when group of fish catch one fish and use it to do pepper soup. Another cannibalism is when one fish catch the other one and swallow it totally. That is cannibalism also. Total swallowing. That is cannibalism. Cannibalism is when a group of fish have a meeting inside pond. They tell themselves, I oh, will not give up food very well. What will we go do? We have to survive. Any anyhow, man will survive. If man won't survive, man will find a way for streets. So they go to the street of in the pond, catch one of their fellow that is look as if it's too small or is weakling. They catch that one, they decide to do fish pepper soup for themselves. Catch fish pepper soup, very nice one. You think fish don't eat pepper soup? They eat pepper soup. Their water and their fish is pepper soup already. So they're eating pepper soup. Don't they don't have pepper inside. The next one is stunted fish. Now, when you stock your fish and you are doing spot feeding, some fish will, uh, will be stunted because some of them will not see food that eats very well. So when you are supposed to broadcast, like I said, broadcast feeding and spot feeding, all of them have their own time and duration and, and, and time. So when you broadcast your feed, you broadcast it, so all of them will have equal chance of eating. But if you not feed your fish well, if you ration your feed, if you change feed too much, if you if you mix different size, if you give them bad feed, some fish will become stunted. Stunted simply means inmates day primary six, instead day primary one. It's a stunted education. His mates are in SS3 and is still struggling to pass GS2. That is stunted education. So fish too can be stunted. When the mate should be eating 9 mm, the fish is just struggling to eat 3 mm. That is stunted growth. And you are the cause. It's not the cause of the fish. You are the cause. It is you that cause it. Because you didn't feed them at the right. Before you start blaming who gave you your juveniles, look at your inner self. Look at yourself and say, Have I fed this fish very well so that I will not have stunted growth? The next one disease and sickness. Number four consequences. Disease and sickness. If you not feed your fish well, there will be outbreak of disease and sickness. Maybe you feed your fish inside dirty water. There will be outbreak of disease and sickness. Maybe you you not feed feed. A wise man once said, "Food is a preventive medicine." Me, a catfish premier, is telling you that feed is a preventive fish medicine. Feed, right feed, right quality feed. Is a preventive fish medicine. Is a preventive fish medicine. Make sure you put that in mind. The next one, weight loss. Your fish will lose weight if you not feed them well. The next one is mortality. Mortality, mortality is death. Death. Mortality is death. Your fish will die if you not feed them well. The next one is capital loss. The money you put in your pond, you lose the money. The money you put in your pond, you lose the money. That is loss. The next one is bruises and injury. Maybe when they are struggling to eat that feeding, especially in that spot feeding, they will start to injure themselves. Eh? That can that that is a consequence of not feeding your fish well. Wrong fish feeding pattern. With this, 
I have come to the end of tonight's lecture. I'm waiting for questions. We have 30 minutes for questions. We have 30 minutes for questions. Like I said, this lecture is brought to you, pen and book, everything supplied by Prodev Integrated Farms and Services, the, your professional partners in all things fish farming and agro allied. Your professional partner in all things fish farming and agro allied. Our WhatsApp number is 080-6978-6158. That is, that is Prodev Integrated Services WhatsApp number. You can ask questions on the WhatsApp number. Now, I am also the chief admin of this group, the Fish Farmers Association of Nigeria, and the chief admin, and I'm bringing this lecture to you free of charge. Nobody is paying me except Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. That is my company. That is the person that is paying me for to teach you this free of charge, to host this lecture with you free of charge, to give you hints, to teach you free. It's Prodev Integrated Farms and Services that is paying me to do that. Every Sunday, they buy data for me, they give me phone, they give me lights. It's my company, no? But my company is the one that is paying me. Because I am the employee, even though I'm a founder of the company, I'm the employee of the company. Thank you very much for joining. This is the end of the lecture. Now I expect your question to start trooping in so that I can start taking the questions at speed of light. Start. Let the questions start coming in. All the things that in your mind, since you have been trying to ask, I have not mentioned them. Make sure you ask. Prodev Integrated Farms and Services is the one who brought this lecture to you, free of child. They supply light, they supply data, they supply um, um, this, this thing, phone, they supply the atmosphere so that I can give this lecture free of charge. So make sure you patronize Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. Their WhatsApp number is 80 that's my WhatsApp number also. <laughs> so six nine seven eight six nine five eight six six nine seven eight six one five eight zero eight zero. Number one question: Is there anything wrong in feeding my fish for four months three times a day? Normally, I feed them to their satisfaction during the three times. Nothing wrong in feeding your fish to satisfaction. If they are four months old, nothing wrong in feeding them to satisfaction. They will attain the I the size you want them to attain at the right time. Uh, you want them to have one kg in four months, you can have it if you feed them to their satisfaction every time. Let me give you another act. You want me to tell you something? A secret. I gave you one secret before. Number, number one secret was that if you are feeding your fish, look at the size of their eyes. Make sure that the feed you are giving them is smaller than the size of their eyes. That's number one act. Number two act I gave you is that make sure that... Oh, which was number two act? I like, I like, okay, this is number two act. This one I'm trying to tell you that is number two act. If your fish farm is accessible at night, if you can attend, attend to your fish at night, maybe at 2 a.m., at 3 a.m., no, at maybe from 12 midnight, you feed your fish at that time by 12 midnight. Okay, number two question, I'm coming to that. At bottom, John says, so what's the best way to broadcast? What's the best way to broadcast? By spreading your feet all over the farm. All over, the, all over the pond. What I'm saying so is this. What I'm saying so is this. There's spot feeding, there's broadcast feeding. If you watch the video from the beginning, I've mentioned the advantage and disadvantage of spot feeding and broadcast feeding. When is the best time to broadcast is when your fish are very big and your pond is big. Blessing said, please don't fish have any organic feed except maggots. There are many other organic feed. There's earthworm, there's maggots, there's... Um, what else? What else? There's organic feed. Organic feed are feed, natural feed. Organic feed are not what you get from nature. Organic feed are what you get from nature. Organic feed. So any fish that they can. In fact, fish is an organic feed to fish. Get fish and give them to fish. They will eat it. Fish is an organic feed to fish. So anything that they can eat in nature is organic feed. Um, Osinu Bin Louis says, What is the right feeding method i have mentioned the wrong feeding methods the wrong feeding patterns now think about it very well think about it deeply so if i am not doing this it simply means i am doing the right thing if you're not doing the wrong things simply means whatever you do that is not wrong is right or you want to start teaching you a right method of, of feeding your fish i can teach you that later maybe you, you will talk about that later but look at the wrong feeding. I'll give you lecture notes after this. 
look at the wrong fish feeding pattern. Now, the other opposite it is the right fish feeding pattern. Oh, I want to give you another hack. I said, if your farm is accessible around 12 midnight or 1 a.m., if you can go and feed your farm fish around that time, that is when your fish eat plenty food. They eat very well. And that will stimulate or grow your fish faster than your mates. <laughs> you, you hear that now? If you can assess your fish at night between 10, 11, 12, 1, after feeding them normally during the day, you now wait till midnight. You wake up and come outside and feed them. They will eat feed more. They will eat more at that time. They will, they will be very active. They will eat more at that time. And that is why fish fishermen. Do you know fishermen? Yeah, fishermen. Those people that used to go on, on canoe and boats to go and catch fish. That's when they go to fish at night. Is there any app for a pond having weed and grass inside? Yes, there is app. Snakes and other things will pass that grass and enter your pond. Your crocodile alligator will enter and enter and catch your fish and eat. There is arm. What of what if your feed you feed every once and they have eaten to their full capacity compound to feed them the second time? After feeding them to their food, it takes them like eight hours before they feed digest. Like you now, if you eat in the morning once and your food your stomach is very big, once you eat again after your stomach goes down, your fish also need feed when their stomach go down. Cardi says, please can you repeat the second secret? Okay, the self, first secret I give you is that when you want to buy feed pellets, look at the size of your the fish eye. Make sure the pellet is a little bit smaller than the size of your fish eye. That's number one. Number two, I said if you can assess your farm, if you can assess your farm late at night from 10, a, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., or like just that time. That's when your fish become very active and you start knocking them food very well at that period of time. They will grow faster. They will grow faster than your mates or your, these other fish that are not feeding at night. Those ones will grow faster. They will eat more, but they will grow faster. And that is why fish, fishermen, fishermen go for fishing at night. They go for fishing at night because that's when fish come out. That's when they have a lot of things to do. They come out. Now, you, know, so you were saying about feeding at midnight. Can you emphasize of that? I have said that already. That is when fish fishermen fishermen go for fishing at night. Why do you think fishermen go for fishing at night? It's because that is when fish comes out. Even the sick fish will come out. If you have, if you have a pond of fish that is sick, go and look at them at night. They eat more. Even the sick feed fish will eat food at night. Even a sick fish will eat food at night. Do you need light to feed at night? Yes, you as a human being, you need light to feed at, feed at night. Then they don't need light. You, you, you as a human being, you need light to feed at That's why you can see them in the pond. If you go to your pond this night and after this lecture, carry light and a touch light and just point to your pond. All of them will gather at that light. All the fish will start running around at that light. That light simply means that something is in the other place. Let's go and check. Even a sick fish will eat well at night if your fish are not eating look at that feed them at night they will eat well and if your feed is prevent if preventive medicine gone can you mention best feed at all good stage of growth uh, i'm sorry vivian i am not paid by anybody to mention any brand of feed but i can tell you that the different sizes of feed from fingerlings are zero um I, the reason why i can't tell you now is because i've paid my money I have done my research and I know the best feed. That is only for my students. Anybody who is close to me, who is uh, who is my personal student, who is my personal student, like the personal consultancy student, I tell them those ones so that they can go and do. But generally like this, I don't say it because feed companies are very sensitive. I don't want to start mentioning names of feed brands, but make sure that you buy the best brand. Eze more said something. Eze more said, "What if I feed them around 6 p.m.? Can I still feed them around 11 p.m. and feed? And can I go around 11 and feed them too? Since it takes eight hours to digest. The, when I say it takes eight hours to digest, what I'm saying so is because even though if you feed fish now, now after one hour you go back and give them feed, they will eat again. They may not eat as plenty as the first time." But they will eat again. So you can still feed them around 11 p.m. and they will eat. They will eat again. Vivian says so, but I'm far away 
So I will really learn the feed, feed brand then, please. I have given you my WhatsApp number. You say you are far away. You can receive the lecture far away, but you cannot send me a WhatsApp number or do business with far away. No, it's not possible. You are far away, you can still do business or you can still receive messages from any, from any part of the country. Any part of the world, you can do that. Even though you are outside the country, you can do that. You can, we can come to a conclusion. 08069786158 is my WhatsApp number. Send me a WhatsApp message. We can discuss how to have you as a private consultancy student. Sister Laegu, thank you for joining today, tonight. If we have just small amount, small number of some fish bigger than the other, is it necessary to separate them? Yes, it's necessary. For a fish farming business, it's still necessary. If you have few number bigger than the other. See, sometimes the few number that they see, sometimes in cannibalism, discover that the big ones are the ones that will die. The small ones will still be there. Meaning that the small set of fish will have a meeting and go and say, let us attack this big boss that is passing. If they chop our food too much, let us attack it. They will attack that big boss and kill that big boss and use it to do purpose for themselves. So no matter how small, no matter how small, the number of size of feed fish that are bigger in your pond, make sure you sort them. Chinalo says, how often should we sort, please? I will advise, sort every two to three weeks. Sort every two to three weeks. Or anytime you drain your pond, you see one big fish that is not that size in that pond. Remove it and put it in this mate. Remove it and put it along with this mate. You can do that. Bring me your questions, please. Next month is TFFAN 1 first anniversary. Congratulations. TFFAN will be one year old next month. We are planning big. We have given you a poll. Opinion poll. Lagos is leading. Lagos, you are leading. For next month, we are going to collect the results. We will know where we are going to host the main party. Every other um, every other uh, cities we host their small small parties and sending videos. Sending one says, How often can we get your private lectures? Uh, send me a message later, I will give you a link to my to my previous lectures. Lagos again, thank you very much for voting. Keep your voting coming. I will give you the, uh, the link to the vote. Make sure you vote. If you want if you want the main party to be in Portacord, to be in Kano, to be in Kaduna, Kaduna is also coming close, Abuja is coming close. If you want, anywhere you want the main party to be, let me know. Just vote and invite your friends to come and vote. I will be there live in the main party, in main event. I will be there live. So, Lagos, congratulations, you are leading. But next month we will know who we'll collect the results. The, it's open. INEC is not the one doing this. It is you that is your own electoral committee. You will know which one is leading, which one is not leading. Amagedon says, I want to start up a fish farm what are the basic requirements what are the basic requirements of starting a fish farm number one number one number one number one number one basic requirement is go for training number two get a mentor number three make sure you have steady water number four get your pond number five get good seed number six get good feed then pray to god that's the basic requirement Number two, this one says, what about formulating your own feed? Since feed is now very expensive. Feed is very expensive. Yes, feed is feed is feed is high in cost. There is high cost of feed. I'm not gonna doubt that. But what do you think? Why do you think cost is cost of feed has risen up? It's because the cost of production has risen up. What is cost of production? Cost of production is the cost of your 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 cost cost of your feed ingredients. Cost of your feed ingredients has risen up. So even though you want to formulate your feed, you will go and buy the same ingredients these feed companies are buying. At the same price they are buying. Let me shock you. They are even buying cheaper than you. They will buy cheaper than you because then they will buy in trucks and trailers of, of, of ingredients. You, you are buying just small bag. So if you are buying bag, if you are buying small bag, it is more expensive than if you are buying in trucks and trailers. Now them that are buying trucks and trailers, they say it is not expensive. The raw materials are expensive. Now you don't want to go and buy in small, small containers. It will be more expensive for you. So eventually, you may even spend more in formulating your own feed. But if you get the right formulation, if you get it right, you will have almost the same results. What you're looking for is results, right? Or you're looking for price. 
there is quantity and there is quality. So you can use your, your 8,000 Naira that you used to buy a bag of feet. Instead of using it to buy 15 kg, you can use it to do 20 kg for yourself. But is the quality of that 20 kg the same thing as quality of that 15 kg you bought in the market from somebody else, from another company? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question. One day on this platform, we are going to talk about feed formulation. To we'll talk about feed formulation. Yes, we'll talk about feed formulation. But for now, let us skip it to wrong feed fishing feeding pattern. Even though you formulate your own feed, you carry your feed, you take it to the farm and go and feed your fish wrongly, you will get the wrong result. With the lockdown in Southeast, if one doesn't feed them one, one day, does it have effect on them? Yes. Before the lockdown, no matter how locked down, locked down it is, there is a time that they will open, they will open shop, buy all the number of bags of feed you need, you need. Buy all the number of bags of feed you need, buy all the number of bags of feed you need, just before, till the next time the shop will open, buy as much as possible, buy and store. If you don't feed them for one day, it will take you four days to recover that loss, that weight loss. Since if you don't feed your fish for one day, for one day, it will take you four days to recover that weight they lost in one day. Four days of feeding, no, I'm not saying four days of just keep keeping them. Four days, four days of consistent feeding to meet up with the next set of weights. To meet up with the next set of weights. Four days of feeding. So if you if you miss your feed, if you miss to feed them one day, you need to feed them consistently for the next four days. If you, if, if you miss it one day, they need to eat for four next day, four days, to be able to meet up. So that's the effect. They will lose weight and they need to meet up. They may cannibalize also. They may cannibalize. So make sure you don't miss any day. Or you don't skip meal. You don't miss your days of feeding your fish. Put that in mind. Unless you are doing it for pleasure, you're not doing fish farming business. Like I said, this is an online university for fish farming business. That is what we are doing here. We are doing online university for fish farming business. And this is a free university. You are not paying tuition fee. Uh, maybe you can do business with us to encourage us to stay online, to keep, keep giving you these tips of doing well in your business. So, next question, please. I'm about running off. Like I said, TRFA will be one month, one year old next, next month. We are planning a, a little get-together. We are also planning to transform to just anyhow to somehow. In fact, we are already somehow. We are the most reputable fish farming uh, platform on Facebook. You don't see any platform where they add me of that group will come to give lectures like this. I have not seen it. If you have seen it, you will point me. I will go and join that group so I can enjoy the lecture too, like I enjoy it here. So, it simply means this is a platform where there is no scam, there is no fraud, there is no, there, he chopped my money, he no give me fish, he give me this, he give me that. There is no, nothing like that on this very platform called the Fish Farmer Association of Nigeria. So, invite your friends, invite your fellow fish farmers to join, to join the group. Let us make the group very thick and let it have a voice. We are 37,000 members in this group. With 37,000 people, we are not going to transform into cooperative. Next month, we are transforming into a cooperative. We are launching a cooperative next month. Why cooperative? Why do we need to cooperate to be able to do well in business? With cooperative, we can detect price. With cooperative, we can help each other. Mr. Uche, thank you for joining. For instance, Mr. Uche may be run out of cash in feeding his fish. And he tells himself, oh, I have run out of cash. What should I do? You go to the cooperative. Since you already have a backup, a cooperative, you go to this platform called the cooperative and say, I am out of cash. You people should program me money. We can lend you money. We can even give you feed. I say, go and feed your fish. When you sell, bring back our money. That's what we can do. This is cooperative. We're going to transform into that. So if you want to be a member of the cooperative, just stay on the platform. Stay on this platform. Stay on this platform. We are going to help each other to grow. What we are trying to do is that one farmer is growing, other farmer is growing, other farmer is growing. That is what we are planning to do. So when people just run out of... See, it can happen to anybody. Oh, Mama TFFN is here. Madam online car, online Tom. Thank you for joining. That is our Mama TFFN. Now, when... When a fish farmer run out of money, what do you do? 
you have to go and borrow money from here or there. Sometimes the money from from, from the commercial banks, the loan, the, the, this is very high. They cannot meet up. Those are thirty percent, twenty percent. You cannot meet up. But when you have a functional functional cooperative, you can you can do that. You can you can you can come together and make sure you 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 help the person to help the fish farm to grow. Samson says, "Thanks for your time, bro. You can still pin your account digit for who want to appreciate what you are doing." Mr. Samsudin, um, Product Integrated Services is the only authorized person to give me money. Every other person will pay Product Integrated Services. How do you pay Product Integrated Services? You do business with them. Do business with Product Integrated Services. Product Integrated Services phone number is 080 6978-6158. 6978-6158. Send a WhatsApp message to Prodev Integrated Services. That is the only authorized company that sponsors me. They are the one that is paying me. So if you want to, if you want to pay me to do business with them, or Prodev Integrated Services as NGO. Yes, we call it Prodev Foundation. Prodev Foundation does this kind of thing. The money they are using to sponsor me comes from Prodev Foundation. So if you are going to sponsor also, you want to sponsor this lecture, talk to Product Foundation through that same WhatsApp number. We can you can sponsor as you are sponsoring this. We are going to mention your name. That Sam Sudin also person sponsor this lecture. And if Sam Sudin has a farm in social place, we can tell people that Sam Sudin has a farm in social place. Please patronize Sam Sudin. Sam Sudin supply fingerlings or supply these or as a big fish or as dry fish. We can do that for you. We can run an advert for you on this platform. We have good, we're going to have good, close to 1,000 persons going to watch this thing later. So make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. Product Integrated Services is a, work, work with Product Foundation. Send us a message 08069786158. Thank you all for coming tonight. I have just a few minutes to spend with you. Like I said, the Fisherman Association of Nigeria will be transforming to cooperative very soon. That is next month. We have a one year anniversary, first anniversary next month. We are the best and most reputable fish farming group on Facebook. Invite your friends and family to join. It's very, very important. This lecture will be every Sunday. God willing, this lecture will be every Sunday. So every Sunday, 8 p.m., come prepared. Every Sunday, 8 p.m., come prepared, very prepared. Come very, very prepared. Come and ask questions. Come and listen to the next thing in fish farming. Every Sunday, we are going to have lecture for you. In a year, we are going to have 57 lectures. 77 lectures in a year. Okay, what if anyone just wants to appreciate your work? We are seeing. Mr. Itobamokun. Let, let's talk that later. Mr. Olaito, Olanyuka, you want to appreciate my work? Um, uh, we want to appreciate my work. So let's talk later after now. We, we will talk about how to appreciate my work later after now. Send me a WhatsApp message on that same WhatsApp line or give me an in inbox message. Um, I can, we, we can, we're going to mention that. Okay, if you're going to be an anonymous, we're going to say anonymous donation. So, um, Zana from Zana Abba Zana, Kadai Abba Zana said, the farm can supply tapolin to Abuja. Yes, yes, Prodev Integrated Farms and Services can service any part of the world. We can supply tapolin pond to any part of Abuja, any part of Kano, any part of the world. We supply anything concerning fish farming to any part of the world. We have taken fingerlings from Lagos to Kano before. We have sent fingerlings to Kaduna before from Lagos. We have sent from, from Uyo to Enugu. We have sent from Portacot to, to Oweri. We have sent down to Shokoto. So we do our business around the whole of Nigeria, even outside Nigeria. Some of our friends who are in Cameroon, who are in Zambia, already enjoy our services. Our Zambia clients already enjoy some online services like the ebook, like the uh, business plan, and so on and so forth. It's what Prodev Integrated Services does. Now, um, the Cameroonians, we have supplanted fingerlings and juveniles and tapolin ponds and so on. And the Ghanaians, we have supplied them tapolin ponds the other day, went to Ghana. Lagos border, so we do this all over the world. Even though you want us to, you want me to come physically to your farm, even want me to come physically to your farm to come and see with my naked eyes on your farm, we can do, we can arrange for that. If not, we can, you can become our online private consultant. We can be consulting for you online privately. So let us take the last revision. 
I said tonight's topic is. I said to, tonight tonight topic is please don't call don't call please don't call don't call that number is WhatsApp line just send the WhatsApp message tonight's topic is wrong feed fishing wrong fish feeding pattern the and their consequence number one wrong pattern I said was spot and brokers feeding in the wrong time <laughs> excuse me wrong and spot and brokers feeding in the wrong time spot feeding Brokers feeding, they all have their own timing of doing them. Make sure you are there to eat. Number two, for people who just join, number two, I said skip mealing time. It's also a wrong pattern. Skipping meal time. Number three, I said fish ga feed rationing. If you ration your feed, you carry, um, you giving them 10 kg instead of 15 kg. You are giving them half bag instead of one bag. You are rationing your feed. It's a wrong fish feeding pattern. The next one, I said ch excessively changing feed brand. You mix feed brand A, you give it one month, you can feed brand B, give it two months, the third month you give another brand, it is wrong. The next one I said, mixing different sizes of of pellets, feed pellets. You mix 6 mm to 2 mm, 2 mm to 9 mm, it is wrong. It is a wrong pattern. The next one I said, undersized and oversized feed size. So, I said feed size, I give you a, light, a hack in feed size. Before you feed your fish, look at their eye. Give them the size of it that is a little bit smaller than their eye, meaning their eye is almost the mouth of their the size of their mouth. Give them the right size. The next one I said, feeding your fish in dirty water. Change your dirty water before you feed your fish. The next one, bad feed. When your feed is bad, don't when your when your feed is bad, don't feed it to your fish. Don't give them bad feed. Don't give them bad feed. Bad feed that expire feed, feed that has grown mold, feed that was not properly pelletized. Feed that was not properly formulated, they are bad feed. The next one is any out feed. When your feed is, when you give them any out feed, you give them Gary today, two watch in Kafa tomorrow, and they were going the day after tomorrow, Semo, you give them Indomie, you give them Jollof rice, you give them fried rice, you knock them coconut rice, you hit them with, uh, uh, with um, uh, Amala, you let her give them um, Kunu, it is, they are all bad feed. Later, you carry. You carry a bacha, you give it to them again. They are all any out feed. Don't give them any out feed. What are the consequences? Number one, your feed will have overgrown feed. Number two, cannibalism. Number three, stunted fish. Number four, disease and sickness outbreak. Number five, weight loss. Number six, mortality. Number seven, capital loss. You're going to lose your money. Number eight, bruises and injury. I'm reading from my book. Hope you have your book and you're written down. Thank you very much for joining tonight. This comes to the end of the class. If this class will continue this same time next week, 8 p.m. If once I finish, share the link of this video to different places. Share the link, share the video, carry the link, share it to different places. People learn. Let them learn the new latest thing in fish farming. Let them join the group because this group will be the best, will remain the best in fish farming venture. So put that in mind. On this note, we come to the end of the class. If you have any other question, if you have any other question. If you have any other question, ask later. Uh, Moche says, I'm, 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 being, I'm fighting, something as if I'm fighting with my audience. Number one, the reason why I'm talking at the top of my voice is that some persons do not, did not hear me. Uche, oh, oh, Uche, Uche na, uh, Kinsley, you can hear me if you watch from the beginning of the class. I have been very explicit. I, I, explicit. I have been saying things. Do you think I'm quarreling with you? Who are you to, for me to quarrel with you? I don't have any business with you. The people I have business with are the ones who are, who are actually not feeding their fish very well. So I'm going to drop the note later. Make sure you read through the note. I will give you the note later. I will either send it the full link or give you the full note from beginning to the end. Make sure you read it later and digest it. I have written down the notes, so don't be afraid. Uh, the reason why I got, ran off easily because this is a summary. I'm giving summary, so it doesn't need to, to be as calm as the beginning. So. So make sure you put that in mind. My WhatsApp number lastly is 080-6978-6158. We, started, we start 8 p.m. every night and we end 10 p.m. or anything close to 10 p.m. or above 10 p.m. every Sunday. 8 p.m. every Sunday to 10 p.m. every Sunday. I'll be here. You will be here. You will be with your book and your pen. And we are doing fish farming business online university that's what we are doing now thank you very much for joining i am etel bongo konama i am the ceo 
of Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. I'm the founder of Prodev Foundation. I am also the creator and the chief admin of the Fish Farmer Association of Nigeria Facebook group. Thank you for joining tonight. God bless you. God bless. I want to pray for you tonight again. Every night I like praying for my for my students. I want to pray for you. I want to tell you that I want to pray for you. I want to pray that the Lord will prosper your farm. That this week your fish will do well. Your fish will not die. Your fish will grow well. All your fish will grow well. This week your the feed your fish will convert your feed to good. Your fish will not waste your feed in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your farm. You, the last harvest will be the will, 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 will be the worst harvest so far. Your last harvest will always be your worst harvest. Simply means that the next harvest will be the best. The next harvest will be the best. If your last harvest is your worst harvest, your next harvest will be your best harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your farm again. That your farm will do well. You will make profit. You will not run at a loss. You will make profit. You will not run at a loss. The Lord who has given me wisdom to make profit in fish farming business we also give you wisdom to make profit in fish farming business in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you again. As long as you are keen into fish farming business, this business of fish farming will improve your financial status, will make you better than before. I repeat, your next harvest will be your best harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless us fish farmers. God bless all fish farmers that are businessmen. God bless your side also. Some of you have another business you are doing part of fish farming. The Lord bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joining tonight. Invite your friend next night. Invite your friend next time. The Lord will bless you. The Lord prosper you. The Lord be with you. See you same time. 8 p.m. next week. 8 p.m. next Sunday. Thank you very much.